what's up youtube so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how easy it is to hit diamond now most videos that are about hitting diamond are usually just like tip videos like tips to hit diamond but nah i'm gonna show you guys literally how to hit diamond step by step i'm gonna show you guys like what diamonds usually play like the common habits of platinum players gold players so i'm gonna be showing you guys how easy it is and to make this more understandable i'm not gonna be moving like crazy around the map i'm just gonna be like slowly approaching people taking it slow i'm not going to be moving around like how i usually would move and like top level play just to make it easier to understand but before that i have to do these placement matches so yeah all right guys i'm back just hit platinum don't even worry about the Lin Fei 1500 i had to go um you know destroy the noobs just to make this quick so i'm gonna be playing ragnar because he's like a very basic character to understand you know just basic combos simple neutral now, a big disclaimer when it comes to Platinums is that they don't usually get scared because Platinum players, like, they don't understand that they have to be scared of certain things yet. So it's like, you you'll go towards them and they'll just, like, hit you. That's why it's so confusing to fight Platinum players usually. Because, you, you, like, you go to pressure them and they just smack you and you're like, what? And then you get pissed off and blame it on your weapon or something like that. But I'm going to show you how to deal with it. Alright, let me move slow. They usually will attack when they land. So you can see he's always landing with attacks. And you can just rinse and repeat combo them over and over. Every time he's in the air, he usually like, lands with the attack. See? Again. Like, how many times is he going to do it over and over? I'm telling you, you can make these guys look dumb. Just like that. The stock is gone. And all I did was silent and light. See what he does here? He just goes for a random attack. GC, wake up. Punish that. He doesn't wake up again. Goes for side again. Pressure him. See, he goes for the end light. He just ran him a panic attack, you know? Lands with the aerial again. He's clocked out. He's mentally clocked out. He doesn't want to play anymore. Pick up axe. Probably just like end light him or delight him. End light. And just like that, the game is won. And that guy was around the same wheel as me. So, let's just keep it pushing. Alright, this guy's a platinum border. He's playing guitars and gun. So, we'll just see how he plays. But notice so far that the last guy that I fought against, he was not dodging at all. Like, his platinums usually aren't scared. They just start massing and trying to hit, hit, hit. They're easy to kind of punish. Is he here? Alright, he's here. Let's see what he does. He spot dodged there. Okay, so this guy's aggressive. He'll just walk up on you. Let's see what he does here. Pressure him a little bit. He, does, he just smashes towards me. That was a bad punish on my part. Slide in there. Let's see what he does. Slide in there again. See? Landing with aerials. Common habit. Waking up. Common habit. That was a good weapon throw, actually. Random attack. You see like what I'm saying? Like, You don't have to commit that much against these guys. You don't have to really attack that much. It's more just about pressuring and punishing what they do after. I haven't really attacked first a single time here. It's just understanding that like there's certain habits that will always happen with these guys. It's just like landing with attacks. Then after they miss that, they'll start matching wake ups, things like that. Tries to go for the NC Greed, misses it. I'll play some Qatar just to make it more simple. His axes. I'm gonna play a little bit differently in that matchup. Random Sig there, hit him with the true combo. Let's see what he does here. Random Sig again, Satellite and Light. Let's see what he does. Random Sig again. He's got to go into punish and pressure him. See? Pressure him, he does the side stick. Random stick again. He's going to go for it again, probably. Land with aerial, maybe? Okay, looks like he wants to shark me. I can just hit him out the air. Because he's not dodging at all. See the dodge right there? The back dodge? Gotta start doing that more. And like, look, he gave up. He's clocked. Let's see what Elo he was. That guy was 1700. Alright, let's see what's going on here. He's playing Scythe. Seems like a masher. Aggressive masher, you know. Go for the true combo here. Random Sig. Double mash again? Yeah. See, like the double mash. They miss and go towards you again. Because they're not scared of you, you know? Like, these guys are fearless. They're confident in themselves, which is good, but it's like they don't know what they're doing. I 
I think he tried to bait me off stage or something, maybe. He's dead. Alright. I'll play some guitars just to show the easy matchup again. Because guitars are very easy to understand. They're a very good like beginner weapon for when you're trying to like, learn how to play neutral. I just reacted that dodge, so you can kind of disregard that. Okay, now he's clocked out, I think. Alright. Random sig, punish that. Random sig again. I almost just killed him there. Alright. Yeah, he, he's clocked. See, he, he like left the game. Notice that when it comes to these type of players, like if you beat them in neutral like a couple more times in a row, they just like leave the game. They give up. Alright, and it, yeah, that guy was 1700 too. So I'm going to skip to when I'm about like 1900, and I'm going to show you guys what they play like there. Alright, I'm back. Just hit 1900. Now, one thing I will say so far is that the game plan has been pretty much the same, just a little bit faster. And there have been like more variety in my opponents. So as I've been climbing the elo, some people would uh, be more defensive than others. Still mostly attacking, but you know, you have like your couple opponents that actually get scared of you at this kind of elo range. It's the same thing, it's just faster. If you're able to keep your composure and actually like understand what you're doing, you should be able to win. I was playing a Tori just to climb up, but now I'm going to go back to Ragnar. Alright, we got a Orion Blair. Alright, so with Lance, it's more about staying stacked. A lot of Lance is like the match attacks. And it's more about, it's about like not panic jumping that much. And kind of just staying away from them. But also like kind of going stacked when you know that they can't do anything. So like right here, he has to do like those kinds of attacks because he can't hit me. I'm going to slow down like a little bit just to make the neutral seem more uh, reasonable to understand. So... But you'll notice that with all these platinum players, I've been like not attacking first because I don't have to. It's not that um the only way to beat these people is to um oh, let me not get fucked over by this guy. Okay, here we go. It's not like the only way to beat platinums is the shark, but it's like when they just constantly are missing attacks and they're just constantly handing it, the punishes to you, you might as well just do it because it's like the freest way to um, get damage. So it's more that this is just like one of the easiest methods to hit diamond. Just like pressuring, watching out for attacks, punishing. Attacks or dodges. Like this guy's like, he seems a little bit confused. Like he doesn't know what he's doing. He landed with arrow, but it actually hit me this time because I backed up. That was a little bit unfortunate. Yeah, he got scared of me there. All right, back to doing the same thing again with Lance. Just take center stage. You'll notice that like, I, I have to start empty hopping here. Like he's moving faster. I can't just stand still like how I was against the... 1700 players like I actually have to play evasively now so I'm not going to be moving as fast as I normally do in top level play but I'm going to still have to be moving like somewhat fast because I can't scare him if he's the one that's moving fast you know he's looking for my attack so I, like he's not going to get scared of me if I'm just standing still and if I am standing still he'll actually be able to hit me see like not pen jumping against Lance is like really important the jump fast fall Putting yourself in a good position. And he's dead. Still three stocking though. Oh, Volkov, that's interesting. Volkov's a pretty cool character. Punish him. What does he do? He dodged away there. He's not dodging in neutral, as you can see. He's only dodging after he like misses something. But even there, he decided to double whiff because he wasn't scared there. Because he doesn't like really realize that he's losing that badly now. He dodges in there. Side sig? Maybe. Alright, he's trying to shark me. See, he didn't even dodge there. You would expect someone to miss that line right there and just spot dodge. But he just went for another attack. Punish. Punish. Yeah, this guy, like, when he misses, you kind of have to stay away from him because he's going to miss again, probably. So if you can't get the punish, then just wait. Because, look, he missed again. I missed that downer punish, but he was just ready to mash again. After he missed that first attack. Did it again. He's always trying to mash. Three stock. I barely got hit that game. 1945. I like this matchup for Ragnar. But now look, he's moving pretty fast. Like I have to um kind of match his movement a little bit. But he's still just kind of not dodging in neutral. A lot of mashing, random attacks being thrown out, double whiffing. See like miss miss. Big upsider. Good punch out there. Pick up Sider again. Recovery. He's dead. 
Get double whiff again. He just he just gave it to me there. Dodge away? No. He took all that damage just for going for a random side light. Like they kind of just hand it to you, you know. Like I'm not even really pressuring as as much as I would need to. Cause normally, like the way to win optimally, is just to constantly pressure like really hard though. But for this guy, like me just existing around him is enough to make him throw out a random attack. And that's just kind of how it is for lower ranks. So we're like two games off a of diamond so far. All right, I was playing the Aina. All right, a lot of matching here so far. He's like very confident. Let's go for a lot of side lights and fighters. Yeah, this guy, he's just like matching. If you get into his dead zones, he'll just miss. Like, you get into the dead zone, he goes for only siders and like long range attacks. He just knows that he can't hit you with those attacks. So he's like aggressively trying to use ranged attacks against me. But even here, he's like not even dodging a neutral. He's just trying to like hit me. Like no dodges a neutral, just straight attacking. That was a good end -sig. See, like very aggressive, like he just walks straight into me. Oh, let's see what he does. He didn't dodge there. See, like they just hand it to you. Landing with, dodge away. That's simple. The same kind of habits every game. A lot of mashing, no dodging in neutral. And that guy's already diamond. That guy's 20, 48. So this is like already like a, a diamond player. Oh, and I just hit diamond off of that. So I'll play this rematch. And he's dead. That's diamond. It's really not that hard. It only starts to get like slightly difficult when you're in like the high platinum, like the 1950s, because that's when you start to actually fight diamonds. They start to move a lot faster than normal, but you have to understand that everything still applies. It's like they still don't dodge a neutral. It's just that they're moving a little bit faster, so it's a little bit harder to hit them. But once you do hit them and get them in that state where they just start doing the wake ups, they start falling with aerials. It's the same exact scenario as when you're fighting a platinum. This advantage state is the same no matter like your skill level, to be honest. Like you could be fighting the best player in the world. Like if they dodge in, they're going to dodge in. If they're going to wake up, they're going to wake up. It doesn't matter how good they are. Like the disadvantage will still look the same. So as long as you figure out how to get the first hits in and the neutral, then the advantage state is exactly the same. But yeah. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a part two to this video for like diamond to high diamond, I guess, or pro level, something like that. Like the video if you actually learned something from this. And yeah, peace.